Hello and welcome to the stretch class for runners. Roll out a mat, take off your shoes, grab a chair if you find that balance is challenging, and let's get started. So coming onto your mat, take your feet and have them hip width distance apart. You can look down at your feet, make sure that they look like the number 11. If you choose to use the chair, you can place your hands on your chair. Otherwise, you can place your hands on your hips. We're gonna inhale and draw up onto the toes and then exhale, come back down onto the heels. Inhale, come up onto the toes. Exhale, come back down onto the heels. So again, with or without the chair, drawing up, exhaling, coming down. Inhaling, drawing up, exhaling, coming down. We'll do this four more times. Inhale through your nose as you draw up. Exhale through your nose as you bring your heels towards the ground. Three more. Last two, inhaling through the nose, coming up. Exhaling, coming down, or again with the chair. Inhaling as you're coming up, and exhaling as you're coming down. Now you're gonna step your right foot back, and it's going to be at a 45 degree angle. Square your hips to face forward, Bring either your hands to your hips or your hands to your chair and bend your left knee. Now, once you bend your left knee, pull back from your hips. So feel the sense of your hips drawing back towards either the end of your mat or the wall behind you. Now, as you bring your torso closer towards either your chair or towards the floor, you can either keep this bend in the knee or you can begin to straighten the leg. Still though, try to ensure that your hips are parallel to the floor. Now you can be here, or again, you can have your hands at your hips. We're gonna breathe here for eight breaths. So inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Again. With each exhale, see if you can draw your torso just a little further down. Two more. Last one. Good, now on your inhale, draw yourself back up. Still keep your hips square, and now lift your left foot away from your mat. From here, same thing, you're gonna inhale, draw slightly back, exhale, guide your torso closer down towards your floor. Inhale, and exhale. Four more breaths. If you are using a chair and you feel that you could go a little further, you can certainly move your chair further away to be able to guide again the torso closer towards the floor. This will increase the stretch. Once you come to your eighth breath, slowly guide yourself back up, bring your foot down, bring a bend to your knee and step forward. Once you step forward, we're gonna again do eight, drawing up onto the toes, exhale, coming down. Drawing up onto the toes, exhale, coming down. And again, with either your hands on your chair or your hips. Move with the breath, the inhale's lifting you up and the exhale's drawing you back down.
Once you again come to your eighth one, we're going to now bring our torso to face in the opposite direction. Take your right hand and guide your heel towards your buttock. Now, if you find for yourself that your hand doesn't come to touch your foot, this is when you can use the chair. Now with the chair, you're gonna draw your hips forward and try to draw your knee downwards. When you do this, you want to ensure that you have your hip and your knee in one line. So in this position, try to think here, you're gonna be here as opposed to here or to here. We wanna have the hip and the knee and then using here the shoulder, rather than it rolling in, roll it back. That's gonna allow you to have your hand at your foot and to guide your heel towards your body. And again, you can either use the chair to assist with balance or you can have your hand at your hip. Eight breaths. Take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. Inhale through the nose and exhale through your nose. And just continue this way, six more breaths. Try to still keep the hip and the knee in one line to the best of your ability. And again, inhaling and exhaling. Two more breaths. Good, now on your next exhale, just slowly release the foot. Bring the foot down, and now we'll do the same thing on the left side. So step back with the left foot. Make sure that your foot is at a 45 degree angle. Square your hips forward. Bend your front knee, and then draw back at the hips. And as you're drawing back at the hips, once more, hands either at your hips or hands in your chair. And you're going to start to fold in closer towards your leg. Now either again, keeping the bend in the knee or straightening the leg. Inhale deeply and exhale. Now again, on your inhale, slowly guide yourself up. And then from this place, lift your right foot. Again, you can have a bend in your knee as you start to fold. Or with your legs straight, start to guide yourself again slightly back as you draw your heart or the center of your chest forward and breathing here. Allow your body and your mind to relax as you continue to stretch. So use your inhale to find length and the exhale for depth. So once you come to your eighth breath, slowly guide yourself back up, bring your right foot down onto your mat or floor and then step forward. Now, once you're here, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So taking now the left leg, bringing your hand towards your foot, taking now your heel towards your buttock and breathing here. Or again, if you prefer, you can always take your foot, bring it to your chair, and then just draw the hip forward and draw the knee back. And if you find that again, balance is an issue, you could be here. Otherwise, taking your hand to your foot, keeping the hip and the knee in one line, bringing your hand to your hip, and breathing here. So you have those options for this quad stretch. This is a classic quad stretch, but do try to again, hip and knee in one line as much as possible. And breathing here. And then when you come to your eighth breath, 
Just release your foot. Okay. Now from here, we're going to face to the side. Lift the knee up and make little ankle rolls. Again, your hand can be at your hip. And then just simply go in the opposite direction. And then bring your foot down, same thing, other side. Good, now once you bring your foot down, draw your knee at the height of your hip and guide your right ankle above your left knee. Bring your weight back into your left heel and start to sit. Now, if you find that your outer hip is quite tight and this is uncomfortable or the ankle doesn't come above the knee, what you can do instead is a mobility exercise for your hips, which is doing figure eights, which will help to loosen the hips. So if you prefer, you can do this instead. Otherwise, taking again your ankle, bring it above your knee, drawing your weight back into your left heel and sitting down. Then you can take your hand to your right knee and gently guide it away from you. If you're stable, you can bring your hands and start to fold slightly forward and then guide your hands onto your legs. Keep the weight back in the heel and breathe here for eight breaths. Six more. Keep the weight back in the heel. Four more. Last two. And final one, press into your foot on the inhale. Bring your foot down and the same thing other side. So taking now the left ankle, guide your weight back into your heel, start to sit back, bring your weight back, start to sit back. You'll likely notice that on one side of your body, that area where you're focusing is a little tighter than the other. So with the outer hip here, maybe the left is tighter, maybe it's the right. And again, you can start to fold, you can place your hand at your foot, your knee, and breathe in here. And just keep the breath nice and even. See you with each exhale if you can sit just a little deeper into it. Good, four more breaths. If you feel unstable, take your hand to your chair. You can always be a little further up as well. Last two. Good, final one, sit into it. Excellent, now use again the inhale to lift up and release. Draw your shoulders up towards your ears. Take a deep inhale through your nose and a long exhale out your mouth. So thank you so much for joining me for this stretch class for your quads, your calves, and your hamstrings. I wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you again soon.